Hello and welcome to Friday Says. I'm Christine and today I'm going to show you quickly what I've made, talk about my plans and a little bit about life. So I'm start off with confessing that I've lied once again. When I last spoke with you, I think I said I was going to be making the next few things for myself, not so much for the grandchildren and my husband. All of this is for the grandchildren. I am going to be visiting all of the grandchildren. First, my son Andrew and his family. Then I'll come home for a few days and then off to visit John and his family. So naturally, I need to bring some things, right? It's, I kind of needed to do it. So the first item I'm gonna show you is this pair of bloomers. I made this out of some art gallery fabric. I had just a scrap left. And I only hung on to this because I just absolutely adore this fabric. So nice to work with. And I was able to get both pattern pieces. You cut this pattern piece out twice and you simply fold over the top to make a waistband and also encase the legs. The only seams are in the center front and the center back and along the crotch and it gives it a nice, cute shape. So here's the pattern. I do have a paper pattern. There are tons of free bloomers patterns. I kind of like this shape and I want to try it out. So I picked it up at my local store, 5 8 Seams in Charleston. The next one is a simple A-lined jumper dress. It's fully lined, it has two buttons. It'll be very easy for baby girl to get in and out of this quick and easy. I do have a tutorial on my channel for sewing this dress, a fully lined A-line skirt. And one of the things I like about it is the inside, let me show you. It's fully lined. And you're not seeing any open seams. I do enclose it a little bit here on the side. It's a really neat way of turning this and enclosing all the seams so no raw edges. This is a Martha Pullen pattern from her book Applique. It's no longer in print. Occasionally you can find it on eBay and I use the A-line dress pattern and the John John pattern from the book, and I've sewn them many, many times. Baby Girl is very into dresses right now, and she has been super into flamingos, so I think this is gonna be a big hit. Did wanna show you before I wrap this up, because I'm leaving tomorrow. Now, I didn't forget my boys. I wanted to try the Robert pattern. Again, this is a children's corner pattern for the shirt. I've made the shorts before and my middle grandson loves to dress really nice for church. So I thought I would try out this shirt for him. I have to say, I really don't love the pattern. If you take a look at this sleeve, it could be me. It definitely could be me. I checked to see maybe I put it in backwards because I had just so much gathering in this space and I'm not sure what it was. I put this sleeve in three times before I just said, I'm just gonna wing it. This is a pattern that I printed out and taped together, which you know, if you watch this channel, I don't love doing. And maybe I made an error in tracing, but I'm gonna find a new boys shirt pattern. And I've already purchased one. I messaged Amelia from So Amelia. She has some really cute shirts she's made for her boys. She uses the Bayfield shirt by Little Lizard King and I purchased it and I've sent that off to be printed because I know that my middle is going to really want to have some nice shirts and he'll wear this. He'll wear this with pride. Those children will wear anything I make. And it's not the worst looking shirt. It's just not up to my usual standards. So in my last two makes, I can't remember if I showed you, but very often we see mommy and me pairings. 
I've got a daddy and me pairing. With the old faithful Hudson pants, I made Andrew a pair for his birthday. And I have not stitched down the waistband because I might need to adjust this elastic. I was just guessing and it's a little loose on Charlie, so it may also be loose on Andrew. I'm gonna have him try this out. And then baby girl is gonna match her daddy. I made her a pair of joggers. And this is the size I think that will be perfect for her for winter. So even though this is not seasonably appropriate, it's kind of what I had on hand to make a daddy-daughter outfit, which will be perfect for Father's Day. If Father's Day weren't in the summer, <laughs> I know they'll enjoy it. So that's what I've been sewing. I did mention that I purchased some patterns. I purchased the Bayfield shirt i think it's called the bayfield shirt by little lizard king i'll put it down here if it's not correct i also purchased the napoli dress by little lizard king i just love the sweet old-fashioned look of the dress and i think i could get a lot of use out of this as just an everyday dress for the granddaughters the other purchase was for me and that was the ivy or ivy top by Chalk and Notch Patterns. I'm really looking forward to sewing that up. I'm gonna be sewing the dress version with the cap sleeve. I sent that off to be printed and I am really anxious to sew that for me. And maybe I'll take a little break from sewing the children's clothes and sew some things for myself because I could use the clothes more than the kids could. When the Butano top was put out by Friday Pattern Company, I snapped it up right away and I waited till I had a few things that I wanted to have printed and I have sent that one off for A0 printing as well. I do need to wrap these because I have an early flight tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Friday and I think I'm going to try to see if Charlie will wrap them for me as his participation in the gifts. I hate to wrap. I don't know what it says about me but I hate to wrap. It's almost as bad as putting together a pattern and taping it. I really am too dramatic about it. I have to go pack. I'll see you soon.